Welcome to the Ike Gauntlet. This is a brand new 2013 Ram 3500 that has a straight six Cummins diesel that puts out, get this, 850 pound foot of torque. And here, we've got a Cimarron trailer that weighs 17,000 pounds. And over there, that's the Eisenhower Tunnel. And we're gonna take this pickup with this trailer and see how long it takes us to go from here in Silverthorne to the top of the tunnel, coming up next on the Fast Lane Truck. Kent, uh, we've got the mountains ahead of us, and you've been driving this thing now for a few miles. How does it feel? It feels very smooth. Everything's nice and tight. I love the Ram steering. I think they're the easiest steering trucks out there. So you don't put a whole lot of effort. You don't have to, to work at it. Now here's the crazy part. When we were just driving around, so around town driving, no trailer, no nothing, we were getting 12.1 mpg. Since we've hooked up the trailer, our average MPG has dropped to seven. Now to be fair, we've been climbing ever since then, and um, I think it's gonna drop a lot more before we get to the top of the Ike Gauntlet. By the way, the Ike Gauntlet is the Eisenhower Tunnel. That's why it's called the Ike. And the Gauntlet is, well, some of the steepest highway in America. You said 7%. 7% grade on the interstate? Yeah, it was just unusual. All right, now here we come uh, to the very first part. This is the part where we're just out of Golden, Colorado, and we're heading up to Evergreen. This is the very first steep part. So we're gonna start to give this 3500 Cummins a bit of a workout. How's it feel? I can feel slow down. I think we're in third gear. I'm trying to guess where we're at. We've got yeah. a tow mode on. We're staying about 63 miles an hour. The RPM for like 21. You got a floor? Yep, I'm all the way to the floor. Yeah, it feels like we're slowing down. We are, we're definitely slowing down. We're definitely slowing down. You gotta move over now. Oh, they just dropped a gear. Yeah, so it'll, that's what it'll do. It'll keep the, you know, the rev limiter will keep us from over wrapping. And, you know, we got the automatic exhaust brake on, so that's controlling us if we need the brake and controlling it. So it's, we're doing about right. We're jumping up to about 2,500 RPMs. I think red light on this is probably 32, 3,300. Now we were doing some math earlier, trying to figure out what the, uh, weight of the trailer on the back of the, basically the payload. And we're figuring that with a 17,000 pound trailer and with no horses in the back, and about 25% of the weight of the trailer, we're at about, what, 5,000 pounds on the back of this? Yeah, probably a little more than 5,000, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's about, we're getting closer to the maximums on this. Now here we are. I don't think this is quite 7%, but it's pretty steep coming this way. And we're doing, how, how fast are we going? Uh, we're doing, we're dropped down to 55, and we're staying steady by 2,500 RPM. So it's working. Right, nothing's overheating, nothing's, you know, I'm looking at the transmission temperature's fine, engine temperature's fine. In the time we've been talking, we've dropped average MPG a half a mile, so now we're at 6.5. Let, well. <laughs> let, let me show you that. That's kind of crazy. That's about the high as it goes, I think. Yeah, we've got we've got the pedal of the metal. Yeah, so we're, our turbo's working as much as it can. Uh, we're at 87 uh, kilometers. <laughs> That's good to go. Yeah. So you find a screen, it makes sense. Let's see, I need to get one besides the music one. There's the trailer one. The trailer brakes shows everything's fine there, 7%. And I don't think there's a whole lot I can change there. No, let's go back here. Oh, yeah. 6.2, look at that, we've dropped some more. Yeah, and that's the thing with uh, pulling traders, whether it's grades or even the wind, you can drop down to six miles per gallon fast if you used to have a side wind, a head wind, or a grade. They all do about the same thing to you. It's all re resistance, and that's what you end up with a lot of trucks, about 6%, so 
you get someplace level and calm, then you can get back up to that 10. But yeah, this is normal for these kind of grades. I'm going to have to I, watch what I'm doing with the traffic. Yeah, you, you got a course truck that, that can't quite key up with us. Yeah, you see that a lot. The, the non-turbo diesels and then the smaller gas engines, they don't quite make it all the way up the first run. <laughs> all right, and here's the irony. This is the fast lane truck, and of course we are in what lane? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're a little, little, really two away from the fast lane. So we're in the trucker's lane. We're a big trucker now. All right, we're about to hit the Eisenhower Tunnel from the east side heading west. And what's our MPG? Well, we got all the way up to three. We we're at two, now we're hitting three. Now we're at three MPG, and we're <laughs> at about almost uh, 11,000, right? Yeah, yeah, we are 11,000 and a hair above. Eisenhower Tunnel and we're heading through it on our way going west so of course part of towing is well the most important part stopping <laughs> and we're about to hit a 7% grade on the way down so uh, we'll see how uh, the different forms of brakes including the trailer brake the uh, air brake Exhaust brake. No air brake. Oh, oh yeah, if we get the air brake going. <laughs> yeah. Open all the doors in the moonroof and drop the ramps. Yeah. It'll be like an airplane getting dirty. That's the last resort, the air brake. <laughs> but hopefully yeah. we won't need to get there. By the way, we are averaging um, five MPG on the way up <laughs> to the tunnel. So that's uh, that's pretty low. All right, here we go. About to pop to the tunnel on our way down and yes. it gets steep we have runaway truck ramps yes we had eight miles of this grade so it's quite a test and we even have a truck brake check we need to check our brakes no all right so what brake you got on right now i've got on the full exhaust brake and we got great shifting and uh that's in it and we're letting the, let the transmission do great shifting on us and then we're going to let the exhaust brake work and if we have to we'll use the foot brake and get the truck and the trailer helping on and that gives us eight disc brakes we think with eight hydraulic disc brakes we can stop something now it says uh runaway truck ramp a half we a got mile more than that. we got two good duels we got 10 10 disc we got 10 wheels on the ground we don't want to use that runaway truck ramp that's not oh, good because you no. said there's like eight feet of sand and it'll stop you very deep yes it stops you very fast you got to have some weight to actually plow through that and then come through it but something like this we would stop so fast i think we would probably become good ornaments <laughs> plus we have the 17,000 pound trailer see i'm trying to hold her at under 70 and i didn't break once yeah and now we're starting the steepest part of this the good news is we're getting excellent mpgs yes Stopped using fuel a mile ago. Now, are you using the uh, air brake on this? <laughs> no. <laughs> are, you, are you using the exhaust brake? Yes, exhaust brake hasn't really done much. Yeah. So I need to use it, a foot brake. It, yeah, use a foot brake, and you should hear the same kick in. There, there we go. Can, yeah, there you can hear it. We got exhaust brake, and we're still passing the semis, and you know they're gearing down. Most of those are manual transmissions. They'll hold a second or a third gear. And in case you're wondering. That's what the truck, runaway truck ramp looks like. It's right there. Yeah, kind of inviting, isn't it? Straight shot. Yeah, just right up there. It's like a ski hill. <laughs> uh, I just heard the exhaust brake go off. Yeah. And if we have, if we see any uh, smoke billowing out the back of the trailer, we know we've got trouble. Yeah, we're trying to keep it about 65 miles an hour. That's about where we are. These cars aren't all cooperating. They're trying to go slower than that, but that's about it. Controllable speed with what we have on here is 65 miles an hour. Now we're getting up to 70, so we got to decide. Don't be fooled, four more miles of steep grade. That's what the sign says. Yeah, we're getting warnings. Now we're in the Actually, slow lane, but we're passing yeah, everybody. Yes. See, I, I knew there was a reason for the fast <laughs> lane truck. It's just going downhill. I hit the brake a second time. Okay. Keep it under 70. Now well, we got a car right in front of me. Make me stop quicker. The yeah. Subarus are getting scared. There yeah. are mountain goats up here. They should be flying down the road. Yeah, these guys don't know the crazy long braking distance that we, in <laughs> fact, have <laughs> with this much weight behind us. Now, is there another set setting you put that in, or is that the best setting we're I in right now? I got it in the, the full exhaust brake setting. Okay. And 
we're in tow mode, so that, that'll help us grade shift too. The tow mode, you know, uh, holds your RPMs a little longer for each gear. Oops, another really another tr runaway truck ramp coming up. We're doing good. We passed the first one. Let's see if we can pass the second one. No, we're still very controllable. We're actually dropped down to 60 miles an hour. So I'm pretty confident we can make it to the bottom. Maybe with one more brake tap, maybe not. I think we're doing good. We no smoke coming off the brakes. No indication of heat on the transmission. Transmission's mid-range and the temperature. Everything good? Yep, everything's good. So are you impressed by the performance of this truck? You've driven a lot. Yeah, it's this it's it's handling very well. It's you know, besides being comfortable, it's very steerable. Everything's tight. Of course it's a brand new truck, but uh, yeah, no issues pulling this big trailer. Alright, we're almost at the bottom of the steepest part of the grade. We're here in Silverthorne. Now the Ike Gauntlet is really a two-parter. It's not just going down the mountain, it's also going up the mountain. So we're gonna turn around and we're gonna try to see how long it'll take us to go the eight miles from the bottom of Silverthorne to the very top of the tunnel, which is behind us. And we're gonna time ourselves and see how long it takes us to pull this 17,000 pound trailer to the top. And hopefully, we'll be able to do so at, uh, well, not three MPG, but I got a feeling we're gonna even break lower than that going the other way, Kent. Yes, I'm, and I'm accelerating now because I, I, you know, I'm going too slow. <laughs> and that was the scary part, coming down, because you know it is all up to brakes and, and your other devices, but going up, you know, we could probably fall asleep going up because we're probably going that slow, but uh, lost it's not dangerous. It's, Sign it's, said, lost brakes, do not exit I-70, stay it, on the highway. They want you to go to Frisco or someplace <laughs> and lose your brakes. <laughs>